Good morning, America. Good morning. Today we are on our way to Corpus Christi, Texas. Uh, George has a doctor's appointment, and then we are going to get our teeth cleaned by George's brother, Dr. Vance Crocker. Well, he's not cleaning our teeth, but you know, that's who we're going to go see. And we will be riding down Highway 77, which will be the future Interstate 69. And as we're driving along, if I see some, when I see the road work going on, I'll try to flip the camera around and let you guys see. So, George, you feeling pretty good this morning? Yeah, so you, far. Have a good night's sleep? Yeah, actually, I went to bed about 9.30 last night. I think you went to bed about 7.30 or 8. 8 o'clock I went to bed, folks, but um, I think I've mentioned on here before that I do have insomnia. It's rough. But, made it through another day and it's beautiful. It was 60 degrees when I looked out this morning. The sun is shining and you'll see that whenever I flip over to show you road work. 68 right now according to the car. 68 in the car and it was 60 in the, on the porch in the shade so but it is a beautiful day that is for sure we're not going out to eat breakfast today we had to eat at home since we have an early appointment um, I know for sure I'm not getting any dental work to done, done today, but George might get a tad of dental work done, and if he does, you might blow our lunch plans. Sorry. We don't have any lunch plans, but you know, when you go somewhere, you like to eat out. It's just the way it is. So, we'll see. I'm doing 75 miles an hour right now, and my gas thing is saying it's running about 39 to 42 miles to the gallon right now. Can't beat that, folks. Can't beat that. Sitting on, well, it drops down. Yep, it's back up to 40. It's pretty good. I'll take it. Yeah, I'll say. How's the truck on gas mileage? Truck gets about 18. <laughs> which isn't bad for a truck. But, yeah. That sure, um, been a good truck and you did a good job changing the fuel pump on that puppy. Hey, you gotta learn do it. Just dive into it and do it. It's a good thing I had a uh, little red Mahindra. And those bungee cords. Yeah. They that, were awesome. That bungee cord worked out great. I was gonna use a chain and my uh, my lasso. I have a, a nylon rope that belonged to my dad. Probably She's that thing's probably 60 years old, and uh, I've had it all this time. But uh, I would have used it and the, the chain to have done what I did, but it probably would have scratched up the truck. So I'm glad I ran over that, <laughs> that stuff down there. Oh, you know, I've watched. Uh not religiously, but I have watched some shows on YouTube where people film the road as they're driving, and some don't even talk. It's just filming the road, and um, a lot of it is just highway footage, but, you know, I guess if you're at home all the time and you can't go anywhere, it makes you feel like you're getting out anyway. So, this, uh, it's March something, 9th or 10th or... It's so, uh, 9th, I think. Oh, okay. And um, we do have to ma wear a mask wherever we go today, but I wonder how things will change tomorrow. Supposedly the mask... Mandate's over. ...in Texas on the 10th, whenever that is. And uh, I know everybody has different feelings about it, but... I mean, the businesses, you know, on their own or doctors or whatever, you know, they, they're still going to follow their protocol, you know. Uh, if a business wants to, to say no mask, then okay. But if they say, hey, you got to have a mask, shirt, shoes, whatever, you know, to come in here, then you abide by their rules. You know, it's individual businesses. It's, 
you know, um, just like at your home, you can dictate what you want at your home. You know, if somebody comes to your house and you tell them they got to wear a mask, they got to wear a mask or get out. So, it's just the way it is. And we, of course, respect that. And I just hope that Dollar General lifts their mask ban <laughs> since that's where we go all the time. But, um, you know, of course, you just respect whatever. But I'm glad that it's coming out. I'm, I'm glad. And also, um, I believe in... Well, I know in Corpus Christi this week they're having spring break. I don't think they're in spring break in Rivera yet, but um, traditionally, when there's a good world going on, if you will, bad things aren't happening. Um, this highway is packed during March. Yeah, People there will going, be from the first of March till the end of March with all the different colleges and things like that. Now this year it might be different. But. Yeah, but in the past we're talking about, and uh, it's. You just, you go to town and you see all this traffic on the road and you think, oh my gosh, all those kids are going down for spring break. But I remember when I was on patrol, <clears throat> we had to come out and monitor the highway and, you know, it, it was crazy. All day long, they're doing 80, 90, up to 100 miles an hour through here traveling. And, you know, they say, well, you know, he was going faster than me. Well, you know, I caught you first, so... <laughs> You know, that's just the way it is. Um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, it usually gets packed down here in this area. Uh, Corpus Christi, you know, Padre Island there, and South Padre Island. I mean, hundreds of thousands of people coming through, you know. And so. you might ask yourself, do George and Melanie go to the beach very often since they seem to be surrounded by beaches? The yeah. answer is no. Buddy, I tell you, when I was a youngster, I loved those Florida beaches, Pensacola Beach, the North Florida part. Oh, yeah, the snow white sands and blue water. Down here, the sands are just kind of like they are on the East Coast. You know, it's that sandy brown in the waters. There's El Tapatio number two that we ate at. But, <laughs> yeah, anyway, it's... Uh, yeah, I love the beach, but uh, this this body don't need to be out on the beach no more. Maybe in jeans and barefoot walking on the sand, but yeah, they uh, they hadn't started on the interstate down by uh, Riviera yet, but they are uh, up here on the south side of Kingsville. They've been preparing somewhat on the, all the way down, but uh, you know, like moving high line wires and buried fiber optic cables and stuff like that. You know, they're moving all those right now, but up here in Kingsville, they're, uh, it's gonna be different when we come up here, the way everything's gonna change. But, uh, it'd be nice if you don't wanna stop anywhere, you just go. Like we said before, you know, have you ever seen an interstate being built? I think it's pretty interesting and, um, just hope when I flip the camera around up here that you guys will be able to see. Yeah, this whole area is going to look different when it's done. They're going to be like a, a mini spaghetti bowl right here. And I said spaghetti bowl ain't going to be that bad. But a noodle bowl? It's going to be you know, overpass and overpass and different things. So it's going to be quite different. It's a big deal for us. You've been driving down this road your whole life. I've been driving down it 42 years and now it's going to change drastically. Yeah. You can see part of it if you turn the camera like towards them. The only thing is that sunshine. See they're starting to I'll do it right here. Starting to build up. I don't know if they can see anything. Uh, probably not much. Just the construction stuff. But up further up there's going to be where they're going to be putting in bridges it's a mess but at least it's only for four or five miles six miles and uh, right up here I'm going to show you there's a uh, RV park all this uh, stuff over here Right up there. That 
that's where they were all piled up last time, but. Yeah, they were piling in big old things for the, for the bridges. They're gonna be, that's the feeder road they're making over there. There's gonna be like uh, two, four, six, eight lanes of traffic through here. You know, so it's gonna be interesting. We'll see how it works. But you know, we have, like I said, Kingsville is not a very big city. What do you think the population is? Well, the actual population of permanent residents, somewhere around 26, 28,000. And then the, uh, with the college and the naval base here, they say there's probably at any given time could be anywhere from 35 to 40,000 people every day. Doesn't so, seem like it, that's for sure. It well, that's because, like you know, like place, I said, it's a lot of people live in Corpus Christi and they, uh, they travel down here to work at the naval base or, you know, they're at the college or, you know, but like I said, any given time, you know, that's why, you know, by population, we were only allowed so many police officers and, uh, and that was based on just the 28,000 people. But then we had to take care of double that. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. But, yeah, it's, uh, we're just a little podunk place down in South Texas. Podunk? Yeah. Well, you talking about Melody and Joe Bob? Yeah. But, uh, up here is where we got our little car. I'll show you the Chevrolet place from the you highway. Can see right here now. That's by the Marriott and it's the Chevrolet place there. Hey, As Becky. you can see all of the palm trees got burned but hopefully they'll live. You don't think it probably killed the palm trees? Just I don't think so. I mean we've had freezes way back. It has stunned them for a little while and then They'll put out leaves up at the very top. I wonder how uh, they fared in the Rio Grande Valley. Did they have, was it freezing down there too, or do you know? Yeah. I'm sure it was. And uh, we were going down there the other day. And, well, when we held well, Matt. Though. When Matt was down here so the other day, when I say, uh, a month or Two so back. Two months ago. Anyway, we, uh, they had just planted, I mean, there must have been, you know, a thousand acres of, of uh, new orange trees and stuff they were all about four foot tall and I looked at Melanie I said man I'm so glad that they're replenishing all the valley because it used to be just groves and groves and groves of trees but uh, I believe that freeze we had back in the 80s wiped out a bunch of them and, uh, and now again fresh planted it's gonna get burned a big time but I believe they said about 40% of all the crops and stuff in the valley were ruined or lost. Well, maybe 99% uh, of that nasty virus got froze off. What do you think? I hope so. I hope so, too. But, uh, yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how all this plays out when they start lifting the band. again talking like that. Oh. Y'all just disregard that statement. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Roll it back. <laughs> you didn't hear it. Yeah, we ain't erasing it, but y'all just disregard. And this uh, little car lot over here on this side is the Jeep, Dodge, Ram, and a Nissan Polaris for the little fun looking machines like Jason and them were riding in the other day in their video. That's what I need to ride down to Dollar General instead of hopping on the big tractors, get me a little Polaris. That's why I told her to get her Polaris and 
I'll just stick one of those little implements of husbandry on there and she can ride everywhere she wants to. <laughs> Bouncing off of everything too. I'm actually getting a little sweaty. Well, we'll turn there you see. I just had the vent on. I brought my um, a sweater and a jacket because you know it's always cold in a doctor's office. I, I don't care if it's 110 degrees outside. If we have to go to the grocery store, I'm taking a jacket because I am cold natured. You watch in a minute, I'll say, I'm cold. She'll say, how do you turn the air off? How do you turn the radio down? <laughs> and it's within two inches of her hand. I know, but I've never done it in here, so I don't know. I can't see. Well, I can't. Oh, yeah, I forgot your old blind bat. <laughs> But she did pretty good on that tractor the other day. Yeah, I rocked that tractor, baby. Yeah, she could see uh, that image of that barn, and that's where <laughs> she went. I said, see that dark spot in the middle? Yeah, go into it. And did y'all realize that I was holding a selfie stick, recording it in my right hand the whole time? Yeah, she was recording herself and driving. That's and pretty turned around looking at him with one eye. Yeah, she was one eyeing me. <laughs> So when's the next glob of uh, construction going to be? Uh, it'd be a few more miles. They, uh, I mean, we're still under the construction area, but they've done this side pretty much. Uh, how they're going to do it for a while. And then uh, we would take this other route so we can show you all those windmills that froze up down here, but... I don't want to drive through all the stop signs to get to them, to get to that road, so I'm just going to go down and And we straight. have appointments to keep, so right. we need to stay on our schedule. Yeah. So, honey, um, what'd you think about the new channel, Shoot Dang TV? I guess they're going to be uh, having a lot of fun, looks like. Um, so, if you haven't watched Shoot Dang TV, you definitely need to go over and give it a look. Um, the video that they put out was Jason up in Oklahoma with Matt Payne and uh, another gentleman, I don't recall his name right now, but they're riding dirt bikes, um, four-wheelers, or... Yeah, a four-wheeler. A four-wheeler, a dirt bike, and that big car thing. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was. Is. Sorry, Matt, I don't know what it's called. But Matt Payne rocked that thing. Yeah, he, uh, he can ride that thing on two side wheels. He is something else. <laughs> and the other guy on the, the other guy, talented dirt bike. boy, he can ride a bike. He can ride that thing. He, he's been doing it a while, you can tell. And Jason was doing the dirt bike too. And I have to just tell y'all, as I'm watching that, I'm thinking of him as a teenager riding his bicycle like that. Ramping on his bicycle and breaking his collarbone. And um, as a mom watching shoot dang tv it gave me anxiety i have to tell you and i don't care how old they are you don't want them to get hurt and uh well jason was ramping gopher holes so it don't matter yeah but he's just learning i don't <laughs> want him to learn all that stuff but it looks like he's going to yeah he'll do it little daredevils but it ought to be a good uh interesting channel for sure yeah somehow you pushed the I pushed that? Yeah, I kept hearing the blinking and oh. I looked down and saw the emergency flashers on. <laughs> yeah, don't push that button. I thought I pushed that. I must have done it by accident. <laughs> I don't know how long it was going. I, I just kept hearing something. Just then, because I had just oh. touched that. Now, well, this is the second part of the interstate here still working on this looks like regular interstate it's different for us because it's not like you know it wasn't like this uh, a couple of years ago for a lot of traffic coming through. Look at that. Yeah, 
it's not political, it's what I read today. <laughs> the CDC said that uh, you can gather without mask and stuff if you've been vaccinated. And they say, well, it's not really a vaccine because it will not keep you from getting COVID. They said what it does, it will lessen the severity of you having COVID if you were to contract it, but you can still contract it just the same as if a person that didn't take a shot. You're being too political, I'm turning the camera Yeah, away. turn me off, would you? That's all right. He'll go down to Burger King and eat a burger, and uh, but he's always telling about his Hollywood stories and such. It's a very interesting yeah, channel. Yeah, it is, and he's he's always got his liter of root beer. Root beer. He drinks, drinks straight from of. the bottle. <laughs> um, honestly, I think a lot of y'all would really enjoy him. Y'all should check it out. Oh, so we are in Driscoll now. Um, not much to show, but this is uh, if you watch Robertson's Belly Acres, Rachel. Her sister lives here in Driscoll. Somewhere around here, yeah. It's just a little podunk community. Like Rivera. Yeah. You blink when you pass through and you miss it. You got one red light in it. 
Now we're fixing to turn up here and it'll be the last of the interstate footage because then we go on the other way. Anything else you want to tell these folks on this beautiful day? No. It's just I wished I was home instead of having to go to the doctor and stuff. Me too. I mean, we stay home all the time, and I do like getting out, don't get me wrong, but, you know, doctor's appointments are the best place to go. Okay, so I'm facing, I'm going to be facing the sun, but I'm going to turn and show you that the overpass is going across this road for the interstate. Good luck seeing. See y'all.